My name is Camiondo Catino. Um, I'm a senior, a double major, theater and rhetoric and media studies. The piece I'll be directing is called In the Continuum. It's a two-woman show uh, written and was originally performed by Denai Kurira, who's from Zimbabwe, and Nicole Salter, who's from America. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Chris Hadami. I am directing Carol Churchill's play Far Away. Far Away is the story of a young woman who journeys through life witnessing different acts of violence and learning to accept violence and then learning to question violence as it evolves in her life. Surprisingly, what made me really enjoy it was this scene in the middle that is actually a really touching love story. And then there was all this other just weird stuff about violence, so it's just maybe it's the warm, the warm caramel heart at the middle of this hard horrible world that they're in that made me like it. There's something about romance at horrible times that just makes it so much better. The characters never really interact with each other because it's two one-woman shows happening at the same time. One woman's journey in Kenya finding out she's HIV positive and one woman's journey in LA finding out that she too is HIV positive but they never really interact with each other. And so the experience that I want from the audience is to feel like they're going from a roller coaster from Kenya back to LA, back to Kenya, not sure where they are anymore, to finally realize this is a universal story. And so by the end of the play, you realize you're not watching two one woman shows, you're watching one show. You want to give the, the audience an opportunity to think something, or an opportunity to think the opposite. Since the play deals with violence, but it deals with violence in a very abstracted manner. It takes violence out of the situation. You only you don't see any violence. You never see violence in the show. You only hear about it. You can't make an audience member believe that they've walked into a Kenya market or walked into the side of the road in LA. But I want you to take their imagination there. I want you to to take them to that place and then come back and be like, oh wow, I just traveled to LA, Kenya, and all that. If I, was, if I had an ideal political change, audiences would be realizing that we, we accept too much violence in our world, and, and maybe we should change that. But I could only hope that people might question what aspects of violence do they accept in their own lives daily. It's really important for me to do work that I'm very passionate about, because Naturally, I'm a very lazy person until passion sets in. So I needed to do a play that I was strongly connected to and really passionate about. So my favorite play in the whole wide world, it was this, it's in the continuum. It's the play I watched when I was uh, first performing my one woman show at a festival. I was really excited about it and it's, it's been weird going back to the work as a director as opposed to the audience member because I'm rediscovering like the layers and layers of meaning that these playwrights have instilled in this piece and it's a whole new appreciation for the work I feel. I give you a very clear version of the story but in the final scene there are, the world that they're in is destroyed. And by destroyed, I mean everything is at war. Literally everything is at war. Nail polish is at war. It's confusing. Gravity is on the side of the Bolivians. So that's the challenge. How do I make a scene where there is literally the line, gravity is on the side of the Bolivians? How do I make that something that reaches the audience? Something that's influenced me as, from acting as a directing is knowing that since theater is so present, so alive, and so unstoppable, you, you can stop it, but that's a bad show. <laughs> if something goes wrong, either either you, you write that as an actor, if something goes wrong on stage, you have the show's life in your hands. And I, I try, try to have my actors be ready to say, like, hey, what if, what if the set breaks? Go, go with it. Go with it. I think I come from the same place that I do with an actor, where I, what feels right. And so if that, mm -hmm. if that means just stopping rehearsal and dancing for a bit, that's what we do. <laughs> it's the idea of playing. And 
if there's anything that I always work from, whether it's directing, acting, writing, is is me as a five year old. I think I was the best theatre practitioner as a five year old, and I'm trying to get back to being the five year old Kemi because it's the idea of play. It's the idea of unlimitedless, you know, imagination. As a child, if you're playing, I don't know, cops and robbers, you believe it's a cop, you believe it's a robber, and you just, there's nothing you need. You need a stick, and that's it. it it's, it's kind of a chance to make your own little genre. You don't have to wait for an opportunity to be given to you. Directing is just fun. <laughs> but it, it, it's, quite, it, it's quite a blast. It's quite a blast. If you have a great cast, if you have that whole family dynamic, then, then, it, then it's wonderful. Directing it has helped me see a whole other side to it. And just working with my cast members has been an amazing experience because they're not actors. They're being brave, they're taking risks. Things that are important to, to know that maybe what I could have known if I was, if I was watching this as a freshman. Um, what's important to, to think about is, uh, is, is there's a lot of opportunity in the theater here. There is. It might seem like it's kind of separate from the entire community, but there is a lot of, there is a lot of opportunity there. Yeah. And, and the theater really rewards someone who just goes in and asks, what can I do? You can have, you can have a really good experience here. So that the, the community, there are a lot of jokes about the tight-knit, clicky, incestuous theater community. And, and it's, that is true to an extent. But really what it is, is a strong community of people that support each other. You know, the other day I walked into the black box and I felt like, oh wow, you know, I, I still remember the first day I walked in here as a, as a stranger to the space. I feel like I've grown so much in the short, like, these past two months. And, and suddenly the space holds, holds so much memories and so much growth for me. You know, I, I, I'm extremely grateful. I think I've learned so much. Um, I think it's given me a vocab and, and a way of thinking that, that I, th I don't, by no means do I think I'm, I'm there. I've got a lot of learning to do, but I think what Fair Acres and the people in Fair Acres have, have done is, is plant this seed in me that I did not have coming in here. Um, I think that everyone should come. I think there's amazing. I've seen, I've seen the previews for everyone's show and what I'm especially excited about is that there's a huge variety of shows and so... The amount of theses happening right now is unprecedented. It's fascinating and that's why there's such a great variety. You know, there's 12 shows, so you're going to find something you like.